Hi, it's Sam Tober, Sound of Joy Music Services, and we're on to our next viewer request, an old gospel favorite of mine, Lord Keep Me Day by Day. Key of A flat, let's get after it, our A flat major scale. As you can see, more octaves than normal, and back down. Hearing all the notes that are going to be potentially used in creating the chords. So, Lord, keep me day by day. You've got to be careful that YouTube does not pick up on this too much because it's still one of the songs that's in their, their AI uh, ears, you might say. So, you want to look at the melody. Now that we know where our scale are, let's find the melody. Lord, keep me day by day. So already we got our chords in a pure and perfect way. Don't count me on the lyrics. I want to live right in the scales. I want to live on in a building, in a building not So now there you see the, the framework for where the melody is going to reside 80% of the time. So now you want to look to build your chords, looking at the natural system, the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and back to octave eight or one once again. So as you can see, our melody is within the framework of the natural chord system. So for those that uh, took piano one-on-one, -on -one, we're going to give you melody and uh, left-hand chords because I realize we do have some viewers who are still learning to play the piano. So I'm going to slow this one down a little bit so that I can make sure that everybody gets something from this. And trust me, you will. So on your left hand, let's go with the inversion of our root and drop it down one put our melody on top of that, but now we're going to add the seventh chord in there. A flat seven. Lord, go going to the four. Keep me back to the one. A flat, and then E flat, and then back to the one, the A flat, right there with the melody. So now that is the, what I call the, the bass line chords. That's where you want to start from. I like three-part harmony, but from a teaching standpoint, let's help those musicians who are still getting comfortable with learning the gospel sound. One more time with the seventh chord. Lord, keep me day by day. Now, if you haven't got a left hand yet, That's how you build your left hand, playing chords, because your fingers will be accustomed with locking into, into a chord family. You see the, what in this case it'd be the two, the four, and the five on the, on the left hand. And then we're going to add the three in there. Lord, keep me day by, see the, the thumb is up. Day. That's just to get you started because we're going to sort of come off of that so we can add our bass note. One more time for those who are still getting comfortable with the traditional uh, gospel sound. Lord, that seventh on there, get that tone, that flat at seven. Lord, keep me day by day. Now, if you know the rest of the words, Again with that seventh, in a pure and now we're gonna give you a new chord. It's just the B flat major with a seventh on it, special, and then the E flat, which is the five. I got flies that bug me whatever when I'm making the video. Back to the well, let's see. In a pure and special. We'll give
give you this one. This is an odd number system. There it is. Back to the one inversion. I one, two to the four. four. Back to the seventh on the one. I want to live on the four. Back to the one. In the building I made to the five. E flat by hands. So as I say, you always want to have a framework to start building your chords. Let's add the bass. Now we're going to shift our chords to both the right and the left hand, still keeping the melody at the top. And that's important for what I'm going to show you later on in this video. So now shifting the chords, we're going to go here. Lord, here's our seven. Lord, keep got three-part harmony. This is what gospel music uh, brought to the, brought to the um, table, you might say. The fact you can have three different voices singing in unison in their different voices, but bringing a very harmonious sound. Again, Lord, keep me day by day. We're going to give you all of the passing tones that help you build this song out. Continue in a pure core. And now there's our special way. Back to the one. I want to live our five with a seventh on there. The one with a seventh. I want to live. Passing tones later to the five with a one in the building not made by hands. This is that tension move you hear. Watch the scales. Passing tones. Lord, keep me day. Right. I can't do any more than that because the YouTube algorithms will hear me playing that and will link that with one of their videos. So give me a chance to talk. As you can see now, I am building an entire progression family of chords. Lord, Keep me day by day. See now the bass, the left hand, the bass, how is walking. And you have to have a separate brain on the left hand, left side of your brain rather, to hear what you would want the bass player to do. Do you want them to hold? Just do two, the five, one. Or do you want them to walk with what the melody is doing? Lord, keep me because I want you to see this chord. What are we calling this? A B? A B9 because this is our lowest note. B flat 9. Red. Red. And it's going to resolve. 
again. Bum, 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 bum. And it's all passing tones for the gospel. I change one note. Just changing the inversions, same notes, adding one, one, one tone in gives it a whole different flavor to it. We're almost done with the song except for some more passing tones and some you know, music, uh, piano stuff that you can do. Um, I want to live, we're going to give you this one. up the scale. I want to live on. Now watch this change. Another gospel turn. Change one note. chromatic scales so the context of gospel music is to look for first of all the scale the tones that are being used to, to, to support the melody or three-part harmony and then the what I call the actual improv that the musicians can can do in the song. So we kind of got the whole song down now. Lord, keep, keep me day by day. For those who count the number system, the one, the two, the five with, the, with an A flat over the five. There's your five to the one. Then a one flatted one in a pure a two a two major or B flat nine a five then back to the one straight I want to a five with a seventh on it E flat seven go to the seventh on the one I want to live the two which is the B flat minor walk it up. A gospel turn in the build in a one or but a five by hand. So now, when you begin to improv on the song, what you want to do is still stay within the framework of the melody, but then. Uh, explore potential chord changes and I'm gonna this is what I mean by that let's see if we can keep the melody without the melody Without the melody, the AI cannot doesn't know what I'm doing. It thinks I'm it thinks that I'm just doing chords. So let's see if we can put a a, a drum beat with this. I think I do have one that will match this tempo. 
but that this helps to have a, a drum beat when you're putting together chords. So let's see if this is the one I want. Nope, that's not the one I want. Should be this one. Okay, I think this is the one I want. Let's slow this down for practice speed. the melody. I am now fishing musically. I'm finding another way to play the song without a melody lead to defeat a artificial intelligence that's listening. But I'm still staying in the melody in and out. There's the melody, out of the melody, out of the melody. In the melody, there's the melody, out of the melody, out of the melody, out of the melody. In the melody, in the melody, out of the melody, out of the melody, out of the melody, in the melody. Now what you do is you want to be able to bounce to the rhythm. This is bouncing, hold, bounce, hold, hold, bounce, hold, 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 bounce, 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 hold, 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 bounce. change. Major, B 
at nine. Stay in the, the beat. Just change the path. Change the path. staying within the context of the pattern once you get comfortable with you know playing the scales all of a sudden all these chords will just fall into place because you're giving it a path what you should be able to do. Limit your chords down to a very select set of numbers and have both hands working together. Just a little more and then we're going to be done with this one. Let's see. I'm hearing some contemporary chords. viewer request I've shown you some of the how you take a melody especially a gospel one take it in its purest form the single notes then add your basic number system according to that melody then expand that by adding the bass at the bottom allowing the left hand to assist with your chording throwing in the three-part harmony which is made up of the same notes you hear in the scales and then begin to include passing tones Pro chord progressions. In fact, I don't think you had a two five one in there. Let me see. Here's the two five one, two five one, or uh, let me see, five one four. One flat to six. Five. You could, could throw it in, in there. Two. Five notes. Two six five. Seven six seven one. I'm always trying to interject the jazz terminology in gospel. When you didn't come up with the number system as your teacher, I came up with scales, chording, chord progressions, and movement. So as you can see, I can float around in A flat because it is one of those comfortable keys for me to float around in, especially when you have a melody. series 
focus on getting comfortable playing drop two. All right, that brings us to the close. As always, if you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell so that you will know when a new video is posted or when we go live. Give us a thumbs up, like, and as always, give us a comment because YouTube loves to see comments on the videos. And of course, number one, share these videos. Don't keep all of this instruction to yourself. Take care now. See you on the next viewer request.